yeye atupenda
worship him in the duty of his goodness. Open your heart to receive from the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we give you glory. We give you honor. Blessed be your name in the house. You are exalted above everything. Because the Lord that reigneth. But on a day like this one, we celebrate a time in history when your son was born. King of glory, we thank you. We give you honor. We give exaltation. Worthy to be exalted. Worthy to be given the glory. Worthy to be given the honor. Thank you, King of kings and Lord of Lords. Receive the praise. Receive the honor. Thank you, King. Come on. <laughs> the whole world has a party day for Jesus. Kila mtu ulimwenguni ana siku ya kuzaliwa ya Yesu Kristo. Wengi wenu mko hapa kwa sababu ya Christmas. Eh. Wenye wenye alienda maki kama Adam Rose mlifanya haraka kwa sababu ya Christmas. Mm. Fanya fanya haraka Christmas itupata hapa. Mm. <laughs> Watu wamekwama kwa barabara kwa sababu ya Christmas. Jamu iko mbaya. Mm. Pamba tu pamba. Derek tells me when you driving from Nairobi, six hours to reach Nakuru. Pamba tu pamba, six hours. Shikana. Knowing it or unknowingly, the world celebrates. Kujua na kutojua ulimwengu unasherehekea Yesu. <laughs> they honor the party day. Wanaheshimu siku ya kuzaliwa. The question is not whether he was born on 25th or not, but there is a party day. Wanaheshimu. A day to honor him every year. Kuna siku ya kumheshimu kila mwaka. So the world is responding the fact that to us a son was born. Kwa hivyo ulimwengu unaheshimu kwamba mwana amezaliwa. I love that. Mm. The chaos in traveling because of this season people are responding to the fact that a son a child was born. Kwa hivyo hizo mambo mengi ambayo yako katika usafiri yanaitikia mwito kwamba mwana amezaliwa. Tomorrow kesho. Tomorrow kesho. People's menu is going to change. Kesho menu ama chakula cha watu kitabadilika. Am I talking something? Ah. People's tables are going to change for a while. Eh meza za watu zitabadilika kwa muda. Chicken is not expensive. Kuku sahi bei gali sana. But as much as it's expensive, almost three quarters will have some chicken tomorrow. Lakini hata kama ni gali namna gani, what are you responding? To? What are you responding to? Unaitikia nini? You are celebrating no you are knowing me. Unasherehekea kwa kujua ama a child was born. Ya kwamba mwana alizaliwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A child was to the world. Kwa ulimwengu. Bwana Don't stop at the celebration only. He was born for a reason. Alizaliwa kwa sababu maalum. He was born to take away the barrenness of the world. Alizaliwa ili aondoe utasa wa ulimwengu. Neema iko hapa, neema iko hapa. Mm. Baba wa juna juu. Neema iko hapa. Sema amina. Amina. Sema amina kanisa. Amina. Jesus was born to take away the barrenness. Yes, Kristo alizaliwa kuondoa utasa wa ulimwengu. That is why. Ndio kwa sababu on every page of the Bible. Kwa kila ukurasa wa Biblia. There's a typology of Jesus. Kuna mfano wa Yesu. From the Old Testament is not without a child. Kwa hivyo ulimwengu hausio kwamba hauna mwana. The world has a child who was born. Ulimwengu huko na mwana aliyezaliwa. The next one is to us a son is given. Ya pili ni kwamba kwetu mwana wa kiume ametolewa. A son is given. The phrase a son is given to us comes about the divinity the deity of Jesus Christ hiyo sehemu ya mwana wa kiume ametolewa inazungumzia uungu wa Yesu Kristo in Christ Jesus katika Kristo Yesu the deity of God 
has visited the humanity. Mm -hmm. Sit here. Am I supposed to speak in this, this church this afternoon? Yes. It's okay. Well, let me go ahead then. Because I am waiting for some response here. Mm. And it looks like I'm the one enjoying the sermon alone. Let me repeat as I enjoy it anyway with my preacher here. Bwana sifiwe sana. Amina. Bwana Yesu na sifiwe. Amina. Kanisa inua mikono seme amina. Amina. Hallelujah. Amina. The phrase the son is given to us. Kifungu ya kwamba mwana wa kiume ametolewa kwetu. Talks about the date. Inazungumuzia hali. The divinity. Na urungu. Of Jesus Christ. Wa Yesu Christo. A child is born, mwana mezaliwa, refers to the humanity inaonyesha ubinadamu of Jesus Christ. Wa Yesu Kristo. A son is given, mwana wa kiume ametolewa, refers to the deity or divinity of Jesus. Unaonyesha uungu wa Yesu Kristo. That's why we read it. Because what we saw for God so loved the world that he gave kwa maana jinsi Mungu aliupenda ulimwengu sana mpaka akamtoa he came himself akajitoa mwenyewe Church, mm. today we celebrate christmas leo tunaposherekea christmas let it go down in our thoughts wacha iingie katika mawazo yetu he kept well in our faculty ya kwamba iwekwe katika akili zetu that god was giving himself in christ ya kwamba ah. Mungu alikuwa anajitoa yeye mwenyewe katika kristo Mm. If you have received Jesus in your life, kama umempokea Kristo maisha as Lord and Savior, kama Bwana na Mwokozi, you have God in you. Wewe una Mungu ndani yako. Are we together? Mm. The whole of the deity of God resides in you. Aha. Mungu wote wa Mungu unaishi ndani yako. God has given himself to us. Mungu amejitoa mwenyewe kwetu. I may be resembling all the bukusu fellows in this town. Naweza kuwa nafanana na wabukusu wote katika mji huu. There are some who may look better than myself. They are better height than myself. Me I'm too tall anyway. Kuna wengine wanaweza kuwa na sura nzuri kuliko yangu, wengine warefu kushinda mimi. What do you mean? Lakini ndani yangu, I carry God. Nini abeba Mungu? Mm. They never had. Mm -hmm. On my left I say this because you are not hearing. In me, I carry yangu, God. Nini abeba Mungu? Mm -mm. You, you don't believe what I'm saying in you because you are thinking it's me in you you carry God. Ndani yako unabeba Mungu. And if God be in you, na kama Mungu yuko ndani yako, who can be against you? Ni nani atakuwa kikume chako? Baba say greater is he who is in me. Yeye sema ni mkuu aliye ndani yako. Than the one who is in the world. Kuliko yule aliye ule Mungu. Greater is he that is in me. Mkuu aliye ndani yako. Let me praise and worship. Greater Greater is he that is in you mkuu aliye ndani yako than the one who is in the world kuliko yule aliye ulimwenguni where is god he is in me mungu yuko hapa ndani yako where is he is in me yuko hapa ndani yako in the name of jesus kwa jinsi gani katika lafu says kwa sababu biblia says behold i stand at the door of your heart nasimama kwenye mlango wa moyo wako looking ninabisha if anyone Hears my voice. Yote sikia sauti yangu. Open his heart. Na nafungua moyo wake. I will enter. Nitaingia. Where is God now? Mungu yuko ndani yako. Anyone who believes in Jesus. Kwa yote aaminie Yesu Kristo. He is in you. Yuko ndani yako. We must walk like the ones who have Christ. Tutembee kama walio na Yesu Kristo. Let's talk like the ones who have Christ. Wacha tuongee kama wale tulio na Let's relate as the ones who have Christ. Wacha tuhusiane kama walio na Kristo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Anasifiwe. Praise the name of the Lord. Amina. I should close with someone on that. Tunapofungia hapo ujumbe huu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bible says. Biblia inasema He came to his own. Aliwajia walio wake. Ay 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 ay. He came to his own. Aliwajia walio wake. But his own received him not. Lakini walio wake hawakumpokea. But as many as many not few. Mm. Thousands upon thousands. Like, hundreds upon hundreds. Mm. As many as received him. Lakini kwa wale wengi waliompokea he gave them. Aliwapatia the right to become. Uwezo wa kufanyika. 
sons of God. Wana wa Mungu, children of God. Watoto wa Mungu. As many as receive, wale waliompokea, I have the right. Niko na kibali. I have become. Nimekuwa because I have received Jesus in my life. Kwa sababu nimempokea Yesu maishani mwangu. And that's what Rev was quoting a man called C S Lewis he says the son of god became a man so that men could become sons of god mwana wa mungu alikuwa mwanadamu alifanywa kuwa mwanadamu ili wanadamu wafanye kuwa na mungu the son of god became man mwana wa mungu alifanywa kuwa mwanadamu that's why he was born a man kwa sababu alizaliwa That's where a child was born. He became man. Alikuwa mwanadamu so that the men can become sons of God. Ili wanadamu wawe wana wa Mungu. Hallelujah. Amen. To receive the gift one must receive Jesus as Lord and Savior. Kupata ile zawadi mtu mpaka apokee Yesu Kristo maishani mwake. Let's not mix up on this please. Listen to me. Every one of us was gathered here. Nisikize tusichanganyikiwe hapa. Church listen to me. Kanisa nisikize. And listen good. Na msikize kwa makini to receive the gift of Christmas. Kupokea kipawa mazawadi ya Christmas. You must receive Jesus as Lord and Savior of your life. Mpaka upokee Kristo kama Bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yako. That's a very good thing for us. Ni kitu muhimu sana kwetu. We are very many people in church who are playing church who are very good church goers. Kuna watu wengi kanisani ambao ni wazuri sana. Kanisani. They enjoy church. Wanafurahia kanisa. In fact our church is becoming better with time mm. in terms of many things. Mm. So mnaona tunasonga. Mm. Tuko kwenye tukua kweli. Mm. Mnakumbuka kwenye metoka. Mm. Mama ana unakumbuka? Hasan mai. <laughs> Sitting room ya wanaume. <laughs> Tulikuwa hapo watu watu tatu maine. Hapo kwa viti, viti juu. Those two chairs but they are still alive. No, we began from the sofa set. Then we bought some ten chairs. You remember the story? Yeah, they are there. Na God has graciously made us to reach where we have reached. Mm. Na mimi ni hapa angalia hapa kwenye tunaenda hapa ni kuzuri sana hapa mbele. Mm. Una vile vijana wamekaa na we are online. Una vile hapo naona una vijana nichukua. Una ni record. Hakuna mm. is part of it. Part of the sermon. Mm. Una ni record. Mm. Una hizo vitu watu wa Mungu. Mm. Sasa una zaukitani huko sasa tunafanya hapa msichana yetu penda na mwaka hizi vitu scriptures kwa wall. Unaangalia And is, I mean, am I dreaming or I mean, where, 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 ukiangalia ukata mitambo imeimprove hiyo kitu hizo mchezo hiyo 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 inaitwa nini papa hiyo kitu ni nini hiyo kitu ya juu kwa nini ndio mixer hii mixer hii mm. hii mixer ni sio chache mm. na mix mm. hii ya ma hii ya ma hii ya ma ya ma sio yenye mlikuwa na hii ya ma nyingine mm. hmm? Wenye tumefikia hapa na worship yenye inatokea anga hapa siku hizi na praise nayo na na hii na yenye kuchapa hizo mitambo za kuchapa hiyo madrums hizo kachaka chaka papa 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 Gabriel Watu mungu ni mwambie where we are going to mahali naenda you can easily enjoy the celebration of the house minus Jesus Unaweza kusherehekea mambo kanisani bila Yesu Yaani otima ngereji na kuchauka na mungu na mungu Unakimbia kuja mcheze udanzi hapa And you Peter and say come on you need Jesus. Muza mbaza kwa kusema unahitaji Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For you to receive the gift one must receive Jesus as Lord and Savior. Ili upokee kile kipawa ama zawadi born again. Yes Christ. That's why on a Christmas day like this one here. Ndio kwa sababu wakati wa Christmas kama leo I'll cross my sermon by giving somebody to give me a proper attitude with Zuri. Mm. Au sema kweli I need to give my life to Christ Jesus. Mm. Let me pray with you. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Church, Anisa, I mentioned the following. Nataja afuatayo. And we shall be done. Natakuwa tumemaliza. At the path of Jesus, two things were meeting. Katika wakati wa kuzaliwa kwa Yesu Kristo vitu viwili vilikutana. From what I've shared, humanity was meeting with the divinity. Ubinadamu ulikuwa unakutana una uungu. When humanity meet with the divinity wakati ubinadamu nakutana na uungu something unique happens kitu fulani kutendeka at the path of jesus wakati wa kuzaliwa kwa yesu darkness was meeting with light 
Giza alikutana mwanga. And you know very well. Na unajua vema. When darkness meets with light. Ya kwamba Giza ikukutana na mwanga. Who gives in? Ni nani anaondoka? Who gives in? Eh? Darkness. Giza mpaka liende. Console Google. Google. Mm. Go on Google. When darkness meets with light, there's one who gives up. Wakati mwanga anakutana na Giza That is why the Bible says I have. Was it Psalm 119 verse 130? The entrance of your word? Psalm 119 verse 30 the Bible says the end. 130? Psalm 119. Yes. Psalm 119 130. What does the Bible say? Well, good. The entrance of thy words ya kwamba mjio wa neno lako give it right unaleta mwanga it give it understanding unto the simple inatoa kuelewa kwa watu wa kawaida put one na 131 what does it say what that verse says i now open my mouth nikafungua kinywa changu and i burn na nikaanza kuwa na tamaa i begin longing nikaanza kutamani to your commands kwa maagizo yako Mm. Mm. The Bible says Biblia sema the entrance of the word of God give it light. Mjio wa neno lako na nipa mwanga. Amen. Mm. It enlightens ni inaleta mwangazi. In other words it expands all kind of darkness. Ni kwa maana mengine mwanga ufukuza kila aina ya giza. In other words it brings revival. Kwa maana mengine kuleta uvuvio. In other words it renews me. Inaleta Upia. Are we together? Mm. It re-energizes me. Inaleta nguvu mpya. And therefore the psalmist says, Kwa hivyo mwandishi wa Zaburi anasema, Therefore on my side, kwa hivyo upande wangu, because I know what the word of God does. Naona jua neno la Mungu linasema nini. I am going to burn up to eat like a deer branded up the boots of water. Nita tamani lile neno jinsi ayana anapotamani kitimbu cha maji. Je, wewe umewahi kuwa na kiu, kiu kizuri tu kama tunaita kiu. Ukipata maji, you gallop. That's the word. There is no order. You crap. Unashika. Make kiwi. Not kiwi. Kiu. <laughs> kiu. Make kiu of the word of god wacha kiu ya neno la mungu it you are ni kuu kule this tap you are iweze kuku mimi harasio na iweze kukusumbua then you become like a a deer panting for pools of water na utakuwa kama ayala atamanie kidemu cha maji ukishika neno la mungu unaponisoma kiu inaenda mm Let's stand up and we pray. This sermon is too long. Wacha tuinuke tuombe. Father, we thank you. Baba, nakushukuru. Bwana, sehemu yangu. Ya wewe katika safari yangu tutembee. Ooh.
Father, we thank you. Baba, Think about your life as you are closing your eyes. How you found the Savior. A singer said, sang and said, I must have the Savior with me. Today, in this service, you can receive this gift into your heart. Unaweza kupokea zawadi hii maisha ni mwako Lord and Savior of your life Awe buwana na mokozo maisha ako If you are in the house this 24 Kama upo nyumbani tarehi 24 And you know very well Na we unajua kabisa You have not accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior in your life Uja mkubali kristo kama buwana na mokozo wako You don't remember a day when you confessed him but you are enjoying church. 
Lakini nafurahia kanisa. You must enjoy the savior. Mpaka ufurahie mkoo. Let me enjoy church. Ili ufurahie kanisa. It's my humble request. Ni uh, ombi langu la unyenyekevu that this gift may enter your life. Ya kwamba zawadi hii ingie maisha yako. That you may receive Jesus. Ya kwamba uweze kupokea Yesu Kristo. The Lord and Savior of your life. Kama bwana mkozi wa maisha yako. If you are in that category. Kama uko katika hali hiyo. In this church today. Na uko kanisani hapa leo. I say pastor. Unaweza sema mchungaji. Pray with me. Omba nami. That you may receive the gift of life. Ili nipokee kipawa cha uzima. I give you this chance now. Ninakupa fursa hii sasa hivi. By asking you to lift your hand up. Wakuuliza uinue mkono wako. Then I pray with you I will lead you to Jesus. Nitakupa pamoja nao ili kuongoze kwa Yesu Kristo. I see some hand up if you are in that category in the Lord. Ile mkono umeinua kama mkono. My eyes are seeing. My eyes are seeing. Dear somebody thank you so much. For that hand. Asante kwa Very important. Very important. Nyanya ngoka mia na ra mingi tutamsaidia aelewe. But Donald come for. That's very important. Donald Kuta. Very kind. Thank you Jesus. Anybody who can join her. You see? Donald has been with us but does not remember when he ever confessed Christ. Amekuwa na asiye kwenda kumbuke. That's what he's doing here to make things right. So when you always find your music come here you. Unaweza kuona faili tu lakini ukumbuke siku ya ukiri Yesu wa Bwana mkozi wako. This the time you can do it now. Anybody else who can join Donald? Ama uko hapa na ulimurudi nyuma. Unasema ah, mimi nilikuwa nimeogoka lakini karudi nyuma lakini sasa nataka kuamua kumrudia Yesu Kristo macho yangu iwe sawa. Ndio mkono juu ama tembea tu kuja hapo join up at Donald and be great. Amen, amen. Thank you so much. I love this young man so much. He loves the Lord. Anapenda Mungu. This man loves the Lord. Mungu anapenda Mungu. He's excited about mambo ya Mungu. But he has remembered acha confess Kristo kama Bwana mkuu wa maisha yake. It is a very important thing for him. Don't say my name, it's not Dominic, no Donald, it's Dominic. It's Dominic sema Yesu na kuja kwako. Nimesikia neno lako. Nimetambua mimi mtena dhambi lakini wakati huu natubu dhambi zangu zote e Yesu nisamehe nikeuze nibadilishe sasa hivi nafungua roho yangu inakukaribisha Yesu Kristo kuingia ndani ya maisha yangu uwe bwana na mwokozi kuanzia sasa kuendelea asante bwana kwa sababu kwa imani nimeokoka mimi ni mwana wa Mungu nimebadilishwa asante Yesu kwa kuniokoa ninaomba nikiamini katika jina la Yesu Kristo sema amen Let me pray for you, Father, in the name of Jesus. As I hold this young man next to my chest, I want to appreciate the gift of salvation upon him after hearing the word. And I decree in the name of Jesus, the Lord who has begun with you now, officially, formally, will walk with you, uh, Dominic, from now henceforth, in the name of Jesus. God is going to lift you, God is going to bless you, God is going to expand you. And the joy of the Lord shall be in your strength. May you face Christmas with joy because today a son is born in your heart. We thank you because a son is given to you by your Father in heaven. Father, I cover him with the blood of Jesus and use him as an, a moment, as a, a point of conduct for many people in that family. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Let's celebrate uh, the young man in the house. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let me make just a final prayer and then we take the last table na tunamaliza. Baba tunakushukuru kwa sababu ya neno lako. Kipawa cha Christmas ni Yesu Kristo. Asante kwa sababu hata katika ibada hii tuna tuna matunda baba mafurahia kijana wetu. Kutambua Yesu ni Bwana na mwokozi wa maisha yake ni heshima kubwa. Na bingu mimi nafurahia kwa sababu hivi ndio andiko lako linasema. Bwana asante kwa kushiriki wa kanisa hili. We are blessed. Thank you for the men who are born again here. They are blessed. 
thank you for speaking to us in such a great way. May Jesus bring healing upon those who are sick today in your bodies. Can you believe with me if you have a sick body in your wako, nasikia ni mgonja mdaifu? Because in Christmas, we have Jesus who is our healer. We eat of his bread today by the stripes of Jesus who are healed. He is the bread of life. May he speak healing to your body now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak healing upon the members of this church who are unwell in their bodies. Whatever the description of the sickness and disease they are having now, today I declare the way. They are healed. They are delivered. They are freed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because by the stripes of Jesus you are healed. And they are healed now. Father, we love you. Father, we worship you. Because it's time. Give them blessings over this season. May they enjoy divine provision. Lord, may you just surprise somebody with even the material gift over this season. Let them know that surely the gift of Jesus attracts good gifts also. Let them find some gift in terms of food and clothing and money and resources and opportunities, promotions over the season. May this season bring good gifts and tidings upon this congregation. Father, we thank you and bless you. For you are Lord and your God. For this is our prayer in Jesus' name. And everybody say the Amen. 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 We can get seated. You want to take the Lord's table? And the Lord God is going to bless us. Amen. Amen. You have the instruments in the house? Yes, there. Thank you, sir.